Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Welcome back students. In this module, we're going to see a very special question, which is a combination of concepts of equation of line and section formula. And typically such questions are normally asked in board exam, which is a combination of equation of line and section in midpoint theorem. So here is a question. It says a 2 comma 5 b minus 1 comma 2 and c 5 comma 8 are the vertices of a triangle ABC. M is a point on AB such that AM is to MB is equal to 1 is to 2. Find the coordinates of M. Hence, find the equation of the line passing through the point C and M. First, let us create a figure to represent this information. So, there is a triangle ABC. So, let me create a triangle ABC. Now, here if you see the vertices ABC coordinates are given. Coordinates of A are 2 comma 5. Let us show that in the figure. A coordinates are 2 comma 5. B is minus 1 comma 2 and C is 5 comma 8. So the coordinates of all three points are known here. Now further they say M is a point on segment AB. So on segment AB let us show a point here M and they have told us that AM is to MB is equal to 1 is to 2. So the ratio of these two parts here is 1 is to 2. Now further they say find the coordinates of point M. Now M is the dividing point here which divides segment AB in the ratio 1 is to 2 and you have to find out coordinates of point M. Let us say these coordinates are x comma y. To get the values of x and y very simple we are going to apply section formula here. Now for this purpose let us consider that the coordinates of point A are x1 comma y1 and the coordinates of point B are x2 comma y2 and the ratio 1 is to 2 is m1 is to m2. So the value of m1 is 1 and the value of m2 is 2. So as per section formula the coordinates of m will be m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1 upon m1 plus m2 that's how you get the x coordinate of the dividing point m. How to get the y coordinate of the dividing point m? So the section formula is m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 upon m1 plus m2. Now we have all the values here. So let us see the substitution. So for the first part we need m1 into x2. So that is 1 into minus 1 plus further we need m2 into x1. So that is 2 into 2 upon m1 plus m2 will be 1 plus 2 in the denominator. I hope you understood this first part. Now let's go to the second part. Now this time for y coordinate we have m1 into y2 that is we have 1 into 2 plus we have m2 into y1 that is we have 2 into 5 upon again m1 plus m2 will be 1 plus 2. Now let's simplify this further. So this is equal to now in the first part 1 into minus 1 will give us minus 1 plus 2 into 2 will give us 4 upon 1 plus 2 will give us 3 in the denominator. In the second part 1 into 2 gives us 2 plus 2 into 5 gives us 10 upon 1 plus 2 will give us 3. So this is equal to now in the first part in the numerator 4 minus 1 answer is 3 upon 3 comma in the second part 10 plus 2 answer is 12 upon 3. So this is equal to now 3 upon 3 will give us 1 and 12 upon 3 will give us 4. So 1 comma 4 are the coordinates of point M and this is the first part of our answer final answer. Let's go to the second part where they say find the equation of the line passing through the point C and M. So first let us see this line this red line which is passing through the point C and M. Now to get the equation of any line the first step is you should have the slope of this line. So how to find the slope of line CM. Now for this purpose let us say the coordinates of C are x1 comma y1 and the coordinates of M are x2 comma y2. So the formula for the slope M is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Let us substitute the values. Now y2 is 
4, so we get 4 minus y1 is 8, so we get 4 minus 8 in the numerator. Upon x2 is 1, so we get 1 minus x1 is 5, so we get 5. Now further solving will give us 4 minus 8 is minus 4 in the numerator and 1 minus 5 is minus 4 in the denominator. Minus 4 upon minus 4 answer is equal to 1. So we have the slope of this line CM. The value of the slope is 1. And now we also have the coordinates of point C which can be treated as x1 comma y1. So now we have coordinates of one point and we have the slope. So we can find the equation of line CM in point slope form. The point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m bracket x minus x1. Now in this form, let us substitute the values of x1, y1 and m. On LHS, we have y minus y1 will be the y coordinate of the point C, which is 8. So we get y minus 8 on LHS is equal to value of slope m is 1. So on RHS outside the bracket, we will have 1 into x minus x1 is the x coordinate of the point C, which is 5. So you get x minus 5 in the bracket. On further simplification, LHS y minus 8 remains the same is equal to 1 into x minus 5 is nothing but x minus 5. Now, I'm going to gather all the terms on the side of x. So y will also come on the side of x. So on the side of x, we will get x minus y plus y becomes minus y. Next, minus 8 will become plus 8 minus 5 remains as it is, is equal to 0 because we have gathered all the terms on one side. So on further simplification, you will get x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0, which is the equation of the line CM and the second part of our final answer. I hope you understood this sum. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.